Hi, so here I'm going to show you how to connect your Palco DX8100 series DVR to the internet for remote viewing. Now, Palco used to have this FTP site where you can go and download all the uh, files and softwares that you needed, but they no longer have that. They've destroyed their website and their customer service to the point where you can no longer really find anything and they're claiming that uh, this equipment is no longer supported when really they're just trying to push their newer products and uh, get people to move away from these older analog systems. So here their official story is that, um, you know, clients is no longer supported, Windows 7 operating systems, um, and DX8000 series client supports Windows XP, and here they're saying there is no export viewer for DX8100 that is supported on Windows 7 or 8. That's not true because they have it. Um, note, DX series control, or this DS series control point uh, is what you should be using, which here it's saying version 7.13 and below, but I found, I think there's another article here that was claiming, um, yeah, see look here it says version 7.12 and below, version 7.13 and greater no longer offer DX series support, so these two articles are totally contradictory of each other and show you that they ac actually have no idea what they're talking about. Um, it also used to be that you can call their, their technical support, which was really good. These, uh, these guys on the tech support were software engineers and people who really had hands-on experience with these. Now you just get, you know, some Indian who's telling you that um, it's no longer supported, it's no longer supported, and no answers whatsoever. So really, really frustrating and, and sad to see from a company that really had uh, very good technical support. So I'm going to show you the one I already have downloaded. Um, if anyone can find this, the older um, DX series client, please drop a link in the comments below or get a hold of me and I can set you up with my copy of it uh, for you to use. So this is it here, I've shown it in other videos. Um, basically what you're going to want to do is as soon as you download it, this is going to be blank, there's going to be no cameras. Um, they're all going to be blue, like this. Um, depending, you have to drag them and add them. So whichever PC you have, you can add as many cameras as you want. Um, you're gonna go here, click the two zigzag monitors. You're gonna go add, and we're gonna pick, it's a DX8100. Um, I, don't, I don't see an option for 8000, but you may try it, see if it works. Um, site name, whatever you named it. Um, user ID, so you're going to have to go into the user accounts option, I'm going to show you that, and that'll just be the one that it automatically logs into. Um, IP address, so give it an IP on your network. Ping it first to make sure that it's not being used, so Windows R, CMD, open up a DOS window, ping whatever IP address, make sure that uh, it's not coming back as used, and you can assign that to the DVR, and it uses port 9002 for this remote uh, remote client software. So then we're going to add that. I've already added one here. Um, you can add multiple and connect to them. Um, this all happens behind the router, so you're not going to get into this from outside the network. But I will show you my workaround for that in a bit. Then you're going to go to the DVR setup. Uh, actually, here it's going to be the network tab, which it's not letting me into for some reason, so we'll go to the DVR itself and I'll show you how to uh, assign it an IP address. Okay, so we're going to click here settings and then we're going to go to network and here you can give it whatever name you like, you just call it DVR. Let's make sure it's not on automatic, assign it a static IP. Um, as I say, pick one that's free on your network. Leave the subnet mask at 255, and these are the ports, so leave them at their defaults, which are these, 9002, for the remote client. These are just for things like uh, updates and whatnot, um, and that's really all that you need to do in the DVR. Save that, and then you can go into user accounts and create your, your user accounts. Now, the final piece to this whole puzzle is you are going to download TeamViewer, which is a free um, remote uh, access thing for computers. So now that you have your DX series client on your computer, 
you can just leave it running with TeamViewer on and there's a mobile app for this, very easy to use and that is how you are going to log into it remotely from any internet connection in the world. Once you download the Team Viewer, it's going to be as if you have remote control of your desktop, so you can also use it on your personal computer or just have a, a little spare cheap computer running in the basement and leave it on all the time for uh, the purposes of accessing your DVR. And then you'll have full control over the, the X-Series client. Anyways, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. I do see them and I do reply to them.